Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GalaxyShoes.com and today we are going to do a benchmark plus gaming review for Huawei SN G510. Here we have the device with us and if we unlock the device, we have installed a couple of benchmark utilities as well as the games. So these are the games and benchmark utilities which we have and we have run a couple of benchmarking utilities previously as well. So for let's start with the scores of the benchmarking utilities which we have. Let's take a look over the quadrant standard first of all. So here we have the scores for the quadrant standard benchmark utility and the total score is 2620, CPU is 6033. The score is not very impressive but again pretty okay for this budget Android phone. Over the system information, processors and the processor. Here we have the device information. The model number is G510022 and it has got an ARM V7 processor which is a dual core processor as you can see. And if we take a look over here on the resolution, the effective resolution is 418 to 854. And let's take a look over the sensors. So it has got 3-axis accelerometer sensor, magnetic field sensor, orientation, proximity and light sensor. N22 score for this device is 6032 which and this is how the detailed score look like. The score for the RAM is pretty low whereas the CPU is quite okay. And the Nina Mark score for this device is you can see it is 29.9 FPS. And let's try playing some games to test the overall core capability of this device as far as the gaming is concerned. The first game which we are going to play is the Temple Run OZ and for those who would like to know the load time this game takes around a minute, a minute actually to load before you can actually start playing it. And the screen is pretty responsive when it comes to the finger touch while playing this game as well as the graphics are quite smooth as well. I do not experience any lag till now as far as the graphics are concerned. They do not look very sharp in terms of the quality but in terms of the colors they are pretty good and the game playback is also pretty smooth. And the sensors on this device while playing this game are also working pretty well. So another game which we are trying to play now is Dead Trigger which is little bit of graphic intensive game. So the game has loaded to some extent and I do notice some kind of graphic glitch as you can see even when I have not started playing this game. Let's try to play this particular round. So the overall game playback is smooth but I do notice a very little lag sometimes while playing this game. So another game which we are going to play is Frontline Commando. So here we have another game which is called Frontline Commando and this game is loading right now and for those who would like to know the load time it takes like more than one minute to load uh, when you ran it for the first time and after it it will take less than a minute to load and before you can actually start playing it. So this game again runs fine uh, without any graphic lag as you can see. So that's all from us as far as the benchmark and gaming review of Huawei SN G510 is concerned. This device is pretty okay when it comes to gaming it, but, it, but again it can run some graphic intensive games like Dead Trigger, Frontline Commando, Contract Kill 2, Temple Run OZ, Temple Run 2, Angry Bird and all these casual and a little bit simple graphic intensive game not very high graphic intensive games. So but when it comes to some high graphic intensive games like Nova 3 and 
Modern Combat 4, this device is not capable of playing those games. That's all from us right now. Thanks for watching this video. You can like this video if this video helped you. In case you have any specific questions on this device, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. You can like this video by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.